Hello guys. So from today we are going to start another very important series that is related to the Python and NumPy for MATLAB users. Okay. So in previous sections and in other series we have seen different uses of MATLAB in which MATLAB has been seen to deployed for plotting purposes for mathematical calculations and uh, computational purposes as well okay but there are some very important drawbacks which are related to the MATLAB and what are those MATLAB is not a language but it is what not a programming language okay but that is a package which is developed by the MathWorks for the numerical computing and plotting etc similarly another very important aspect or drawback of it is that MATLAB is not free okay basically the license you have to buy for the MATLAB is not free and you have to pay for it to the MathWorks okay uh, similarly another drawback it has is it is very slow okay so most of the computation you have to perform in the modern uh, times required uh, a lot of speed and MATLAB cannot do it because of the computational expensive operations it has to perform okay so these are basically some of the disadvantages similarly uh, another very important aspect of it is it is not open source okay so what is basically the open source any software any programming language which is open source a user can basically make changes in its source code and publish it uh, into the library of that language uh, which can be deployed for the future purposes as well but there is nothing like it in the MATLAB similarly there are also many other alternatives of the MATLAB just like the octave etc uh, but it also has some of the disadvantages which it has like Octave is free to use but it is also very slow and also has very limited accessibility to most of the packages which comes inbuilt with the MATLAB okay uh, so therefore it doesn't give that much advantages as the MATLAB similarly in recent years we have seen the uses of MATLAB and most of the people which were previously using the MATLAB are now converted to the Python because of the extensive community the Python has okay so this is basically the advantage of the Python which is uh, over the MATLAB similarly another very important advantage it has is Python is a full-fledged programming language okay that is a programming language and also python is open source okay similarly there are many data structures in it which are slower than most of the other data sets just like lists which are somehow slower but the alternatives of lists are basically arrays which are faster okay similarly if you see the uses of python it also uses the computation powers of the gpus therefore python is of higher speed than that of the matlab okay similarly most of the packages which are in use today are usually written in python and most of the libraries in the data science machine learning deep learning are usually in python so this is one of the major reason of the higher adaptability of the python as compared to the matlab okay similarly there is a package here which is called the numpy so numpy is usually used as an alternative of the matlab in python because of its capability to perform numerical computing okay so let me write it with this blue so numeric numerical computings okay so numpy is for what numpy is 
one of the package which is used for the numerical computing in python so numpy is usually used as an alternative of the matlab so in this course what we are going to see applications of the numpy which can be used in python as an alternative of the matlab okay similarly we have some more other packages in which one of them is the mat plotlib okay and it is used for plotting purposes and we will also see the let me change we will also see the comparison of matlab and matplotlib as well but before it we will dive into the details of the numpy and matlab and see what are the advantages and what are the coding benefits each of them will provide us uh, so that is the start of this course and this was our first lecture in which we have used writing pad but from the other lecture we will dive into the actual coding and see the differences between the numpy and matlab and see who is the winner okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming videos so stay tuned